Dear sisters and brothers, we are at the threshold of Christmas, the great solemnity of the nativity of our Lord. And on this Sunday, in the Gospel according to Luke, we have the scene of the visitation, the meeting of our Blessed Mother with her cousin Elizabeth. The episode that is just prior to the scene of visitation is a scene of the Annunciation of the Angel to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Angel seeks the consent of our Blessed Mother and our Blessed Mother gives her yes and thus she is filled with the Holy Spirit, she is filled with God and joy fills her heart and a new life takes possession in her. And that joy fills our Blessed Mother so much that she cannot contain that joy within herself. She goes to visit her cousin. We can immediately think of the experience of the first disciples. In the Gospel according to St. John, the first disciples comes to Jesus. They come, they stay with Jesus, and they are given an experience. And they cannot contain that experience with themselves. And thus we find Andrew going to meet his brother Peter, Philip, Nathaniel, and they share that joy with others. In the scene of the visitation, our Blessed Mother goes to meet her cousin Elizabeth, shares that joy and assist her at the time of her need. And thus Mary symbolizes someone who opens herself to God, someone who fills herself with God and someone who who opens herself to others. Visitation of our Blessed Mother as we prepare for Christmas would teach us what a Christian should be. To be a Christian does not just mean to avoid all sin, all evil, not to do all wrong, but to be a Christian means to be, to be concrete in doing good. It consists in meeting Christ opening our hearts to Christ, Christ, filling ourselves with Christ, and then opening ourselves to others, giving oneself to others. Our Lord himself, Jesus himself, would give us this beautiful example. The Gospels would present Jesus as someone who went about doing good to the people, bringing the joy into the life of others. And thus, Christ brought that joy to the sick people by healing them, to the sinners by forgiving them, to the outcasts by being a brother to them, to the sorrowful by consoling them. He was truly a joyful giver. In the scene of the visitation, Mary brings that joy to her cousin Elizabeth. To incarnate on this world, God needed that yes, yes from our Blessed Mother, yes from St. Joseph. To be in the world today, God needs that yes from each one of us, our generous hearts, our generous hands that will reach out to others, especially to the poor, to the less privileged. Christmas brings this great message of giving, of joyful giving. In John 3.6, we read God as a perfect giver. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. In Philippians 2.6, St. Paul would tell us of Christ who gave himself. Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, gave himself on our behalf to give us salvation. At Christmas, we, we give gifts to each other. We give gifts to our dear ones. The Santa Claus comes around giving gifts. Many charitable activities are organized during Christmas time. Giving with a great message of giving. Giving to the poor, giving to the less privileged. As we are about to celebrate Christmas, let us learn this art of giving, this art of joyful giving. Let us learn it from our Lord. Let us learn it from Our Lady. Let us remember there is greater joy in giving rather than receiving. Let us give ourselves joyfully to others. Let us give ourselves joyfully to our mission, to people who live with us 
around us, people who are poor, less privileged, above all, let us give ourselves to God who gave himself completely for us, for our salvation. Amen.